things. That the Defense Minister, Dominic Nito, has ordered the removal of all roadblocks mounted within the Saboba and Chiripone districts where ethnic conflicts have caused the loss of lives and property. Leading a bipartisan delegation to Saboba, he directed the two traditional rulers of the feuding communities to ensure the directive is carried as part of efforts to resolve the conflict. Zubayde Ismail has more. It was revealed during the visit by the Defence Minister and the bipartisan delegation that communities like Garinkuka, Wanichiking, Ugando in the Chiripone district and Nambiri, Wapuli and other parts of the Saboba township which link the two districts have mounted roadblocks to prevent crossing to and from the two districts. This, according to residents, has prevented them from assessing health care services in Chiripone. The Defence Minister, Dominic Intiwo, called on them to remove the roadblocks. I want to appeal to the concombers and the chakwasas within Chiripone and Saboba area. Please, the people of Ghana are expecting you to do only one thing. Lay down your arms and let us talk. Talk within yourselves. Enough is enough. The gunshots must cease now. So I want to appeal to the chiefs. When you get back to your communities, if your area has a roadblock, whether it's a Chakwasi community or Konkoma community, please tell the young men to remove that roadblock. In about a month's time, kids from Chirpone will have to go. Konkoma kids will have to go to Chirpone and ride their BCE. If they don't write this year, you have destroyed their lives totally. If they don't get an opportunity to go and write because we are fighting, that is the end of thousands and thousands and thousands of them, their lives. He again bemoaned how the previously harmonious coexistence between the two tribes have turned sour. The reason I'm here is because I come from this region. It's very embarrassing to us in government. When the National Security Minister wants to do briefing, Konkomba versus Chakwasi, this number of people have died. How am I going to look up in cabinet? Everybody looks at Nitu and be looking at you like this. Oh, your people are fighting again. Please, don't disgrace us because you sent us there. Dominic Ntiu demanded a commitment to peace from the paramount chief of Saboba, Ubo John Matir. The chief Ubo John Matir made some demands. The curfew in Saboba and its environs be reviewed to the hours of 10 o'clock p.m. to 5 o'clock a.m. As it is a known fact that Saboba and its environs remains relatively peaceful. The ban on the use of motorbikes be lifted. Motorbikes are the main means of transport for people in the district. Many of the residents of Saboba accused the military officers deployed to the area of being partial in the operations, but these accusations were refuted by the Chief of Army Staff, Major General William Azure Ayamdu. Because resources are not unlimited, it has an effect on how we operate. And this is probably why you see the way we are deployed in this some communities and you are thinking that we are taking sides. That is not the case at all. But if there is any matter that comes to your notice and you think the soldiers are treating any part of your community unfairly, feel free to bring the matter to the front so that we can investigate. Four Anufo dominated communities and one Konkomba community in the Saboba district have been torched since the renewed clashes.